Okay, what we're working on today is I want to compare the idle air control uh, circuitry between a 280ZX turbo computer and a 300ZX turbo computer. Uh, read a lot, a lot of people say they're incompatible, so I like to know why they're incompatible. So what we're going to do is we're going to conduct an experiment where we're going to scope the output from the ECU and compare the idle air control output on the 300ZX to the 280ZX, both turbo models. Uh, I'm gonna try to do this all live in one take if I can get it, if I can do the hot swap quickly enough, otherwise I might break it into two, two takes. Right now we have it hooked up with a 300, we're starting the engine, we're gonna look at the scope, we're gonna note it, and then I'm gonna do the swap of the computers. So first of all, let's look at the setup. There's the scope. Okay, I've got it plugged into the idle up air control. We'll set the, uh, the time base and you know voltage say that's where I get it cranked up. center that. Okay, let's start off at zero. That's what it looks like. So basically, I'm going to try to divide that bucket one division. Well, there you go. That's better. So I got one, two, three peaks going up. That's about three divisions, and I think I have it set at one volt. Uh, I can't quite read that. Hold on. Five volts. Okay. Uh, that's, so that's like about 12 volt divisions we're seeing there. 12 volts or so. I'm going to boost it these lines so it's up like that ass. sensor. It's over here. With this O2 sensor. All right. We're going to swap the control plug. To the 281. Other computer. That's the two eight. That's the three hundred ZX. We'll go to a two eighty ZX computer. Put this is on frame. Uh, 
watts and a map. Goes for our airflow meter. Out with the airflow, uh, out with the mass airflow, and in with the vane type, movable vane type. I'm not going to hook up the actual lines that, you know, all the backing lines, all that, because I don't really care. I'm, I'm just looking at the signal at this point. Okay, two A's hooked up. Uh, let's get the right one of these things, which is going to be. 280. Okay, and I just lost my connection here, so that I get this hooked back up. Unfortunately. So this is the ground side. Ground side is blue and white. It's the hot side. Stay hooked. Okay, so we swapped the airflow meter. We've swapped the, uh, that controls the fuel pump and the air regulator. We swapped the uh, O2 sensor. And is there anything else to be done? Oh, this blue wire here is disconnected. Disconnect that. Let's see. I believe that's it. Mm -hmm. Just going to take a quick look around. Oh, the fuel temperature sensor. We don't need that. We unhook that. That doesn't get used on a 280ZX. Uh, so 280. Okay, we lost a fuel temp sensor. We disconnected that blue line that goes to the low side of the ignition coil. That's done. Nothing else is used here. That's all the same. Yeah, that should be it. Okay. Well, let's find out. We hook up the battery to it. Is still function still run when I turned it on and let's start. So now we're on the other computer. Oh look at that. That's very interesting. This is why I do this stuff right. I find this fascinating. This is very much for the condos. Same amplitude approximately. But as you can see the time base is completely different. That's like at most two feet. It's, it's twice as the cycling, it's a uh, two cycling twice as fast with the other one. But other than that, the signal looks the same. That's kind of interesting. I can't get it to trigger very cleanly. But as you can see, the time base is completely different. So that probably accounts for why it doesn't work so well. I mean, it, it would if the time base wasn't so off. 
There might be something I can do about that. Maybe some kind of a, uh, a 555 trigger or something like that that could actually adjust those uh, pulses, you know, cut in half or something. But clearly that's what's going on. Well, that's good. But at least the amplitude is the same. And other than that, it looks pretty, very similar. Just twice as fast. So it, it turns on twice as often as it should. And I think turning this one on actually is what brings the RPM down, I remember right. So there's your issue. I wish I could get a cleaner look at that. I don't know why that triggers. It's about one. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Okay. Well, anyway. So there you have it. Pull this back up close out this video. So there's a difference between a so that's sorry too low. Hey big daddy. Back off the zoom. Okay. So it looks like the signals are pretty much the same in amplitude. It's just the duty cycle is completely different. The duty cycle is much higher on the uh, 300ZX, which I presume would therefore mean the thing would be turned on too long, and that's just going to be a problem. The only way I can make that work is figure out some way of altering that solenoid that actuates the, the, the bleed air to either use a different kind of solenoid that works right, which is maybe not that hard to do. I don't know, I have to think about that. Um, but that's the problem. We'd have to figure out a way of reducing that, that, that uh, duty cycle so that it would make sense to this thing. At least it's going in the right direction, or the, I, I presume. Um, I think that's the only real problem. So. I don't know. We'll have to think about how to do that. Maybe it's some kind of a an RC thing where you could like charge a capacitor and it would take long for it to charge. I don't know. I have to think about that a little bit. But that's what I wanted to do was find out the difference between those two and why they're incompatible. It's just it's just a duty cycle. And I also wanted to give you guys a, another sh a shot of the hot swap of being able to sw switch the computers. And remember, the reason I did that is I wanted to be able to um, test out the two computers and use them interchangeably. My buddy Jeff brought me a little gift over here today. So we should be doing some more work with some computers here. So we've got a variety of, of ECUs. I got some 84s and some 88s. Uh, 80, I see an 84, 84, 88. So, you know, a 27, I think that's the same year as what I got. No, oh, wait, that's the one I put down. There. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. So, there you go. Anyway, more later. Thanks for watching. Bye.